Okay, so today I'm going to start uh, working on my Halloween decorating. And as you can see right here and all around me, uh, I've got tons and tons of stuff just crammed in this little shed. And pretty much everything from here over all the way to here is Halloween. I mean, it's just boxes. There's a bunch of stuff back here behind this. It's all Halloween. And all these boxes are absolutely full of Halloween stuff. Um, my thing, I, I like anything Halloween, but especially some of the older stuff from like the 70s and 80s. Um, I've got tons of stuff uh, like that. Um, and I just cannot wait to get it decorated, you know, start getting all this out. Uh, and I'm going to show this a little bit more as I'm going through it. Uh, this is actually something I found the other day. This is like a little Lisa Frank. I think that's probably from the early 90s. Um, but I've got lots and lots of stuff. And I'm just dragging all this out. Now these little things down here, they are full of little miniature uh, pieces, these two tin, uh, bucket things there are absolutely crammed full of like little, uh, trick-or-treat toys and stuff from the 80s and 90s. Um, there's just so much stuff here and I'm just getting really excited. But what I'm trying to do right now is I'm trying to get all the Halloween pushed over to this side and then everything that's not Halloween, I'm trying to get over here on this side, like Easter and everything else. Um, but it's like absolutely burning up. I'm like sweating so bad. And, uh, so anyways, that's what I'm starting today. Uh, this is like August. Uh, I don't even know what today is. It's still August and I'm still having to, uh, get a start on this. And as you can see back here, this big cabinet is full of those old, uh, blow mold pieces. Um, so I'll try to get all this out. Um, I don't know if I'll get everything out. I'll still look at a lot of this, but um, it gets crazy at Halloween. I mean, we decorate so much that we actually take out certain pieces of furniture in our house. Um, and these little things, these are really good. I'm not sure how old they are, but I know they kind of go high on eBay. And I've got two vampires and the witch and the skeleton. Um but anyway, we'll get a better look at stuff as I get it out. Alright, so let's go ahead and get a look at what's uh, some of what's in these buckets. Like I was saying, it's full of these little vintage things. Just all kinds of little Halloween stuff. And some of this is really old. Some of it's actually from the 60s. Uh, some of it's really uh, newer, just from like last year and stuff. Um these little pins are pretty cute i'm not sure if they're 80s or how old they are um this little bubble thing here had bubbles in it and then i've got a lot of uh little cupcake picks now i think these are probably 60s or 70s uh just tons of different uh uh picks this little whistle i'm pretty sure it's probably 80s or early 90s. It's got a little ghost on it. Really random. They just put all kinds of random stuff uh, in there for trick-or-treat. Now these little pumpkins, these are foam, little squishy pumpkins. <clears throat> I've got eight different ones. And they, they, they've they got a name to them. Um, they're not marked or anything, but uh, they, they have a name to them. And they're really expensive on eBay. If some of you watching probably know what these little foam pumpkins are. But I've got a bunch of those. And, whoops, stuff behind me is falling over. But uh, I sold one of these a couple years ago on eBay. I had two of the same one. I sold that for like uh, $37, I think. Just these silly little pumpkins. Now this one's got some little spots on his nose and his lip, but... Even with that, they go really high. And uh, I've, got, uh, I've got a big one too, like a really big one. Um, but yeah, there's just all kinds of stuff in here. I'm going to try to f pick out a few more uh, older pieces. 
Let me see what I got. That's kind of cute. And when I get when I dump this out, uh, I, I can get another look at it later. But check out that little skeleton with like a little baby skeleton. That's really cute. I don't know how old that is, but probably 80s or 90s. Probably 90s, I guess. But I love that little bitty skeleton. And then here's another one of these little uh, pop-up pins, like a little pin you wear on your shirt. Um, yeah, and these are little ornaments to a tree. Just lots and lots of stuff down in here. Now this little guy, he's pretty cute. He's just a little pom-pom uh, pom squishy thing. It's got a little ribbon that says Happy Halloween. Um, he looks pretty vintage. And then here's one of those cupcake picks. It's the witch, but her little sticks broke off. But there's a lot down in here. Now I've got a lot of these uh, newer things on top. Uh, now these bats, these are cupcake picks, and I know they're vintage because they say made in Hong Kong. So that's definitely vintage. These are little pencil toppers that are kind of old. Um, oh, and these are like old bubblegum machine rings. Now this is vintage. Little skull rings. Um, let me get in here to some of the good stuff. She's kind of vintage. Made in Japan. Um, we got some Hello Kitty. Oh yeah, I was actually just thinking of this. This is a little pen that's made out of clay. I'm crazy about that little piece. Just like a little haunted house. Um, and as you can see, it's just all kinds of stuff down in here. And this is funny, because I was just thinking of this one too. This is just a little plastic haunted house. That's just super duper cute. Um, but there's really a lot down in here. And uh, I usually try to actually sit every little piece out and display every bit of this. I've got like a... Uh, showcase like a display case in my house and I lay all this out in that display case here's another one of those Hong Kong bats it's still got its little stem and these little clackers these are newer but they're still pretty cool and then all kinds of little wind-up things this was on the top of a candy container it's kind of older this is Hong Kong, so it must be pretty old, too. This little witch. I think she's kind of new, but she's still pretty awesome. Little rubber stamps. Oh, now here's an old piece. I know this one's uh, vintage. She's pretty cool. Uh, some more little witch picks. And, of course, these are... I think everybody's had these little fingers. There's a bunch of those in here. Some of them are new and some are vintage. Um, here's a little trick-or-treat bag, probably from like a Barbie or something. The handles need to be glued back. But if I get all this out, I will uh, get a better look at it after I get it set up. And this is random. It's really cute. It's like a little clip, like a little bag clip or something. It's got a little ghost on it. Um, but yeah, I mean, you can see this is a pretty big bucket, and it is just crammed full of just things. There's those little rubber skeletons. Um, now, these are pretty uh, collectible, these uh, rings. I think this is probably from the 60s. It's like a gumball machine thing. I'm not sure what character this is. But I know it's vintage. And we got a glitter spider. I know a lot of people hate glitter on Halloween decorations. But I'm all about the glitter. Um, I think it works. Uh, some little mice. But I can just keep pulling out of here all day. There's just so much stuff in here. Oh yeah, check her out. She's a bigger piece. 
she's really cool but yeah once i get all this uh displayed we'll check it out again oh and then here's some little spot a tot that's like a little safety uh reflector bracelet for your kids from hills and uh anyway i keep finding little things i keep saying oh we'll check it out better but i, I just like digging in it once you start digging in it I find things I forgot that I had. How many of these things do I got? Gosh. Um, here's another spot of tot. And then this is like a cake decoration. Little black cat. But we'll come back to this again and check it out. And then we've still got this other little bucket down here that's full of stuff too. Okay, so this is old Christmas, and I open it, and of course it is Halloween, like a lot of little Halloween stuff in here. Now you can see how crammed full these boxes are. I mean, like I was saying, it's just a bunch of little stuff. I mean, they are, there's just so much in each little box. Uh, these are cool too. These are little drink mixers. Um, I know they're pretty old. I keep mentioning old and vintage because I think with a lot of uh, Halloween collectors that we really like the vintage stuff the best. But um, you see, you know, right when I think I'm done, like, like I was saying, I was going to try to get everything. I'm in this tight little space here where I said I was going to shove all the Halloween to this side. Well, I'm finding out that just about everything in this entire building is Halloween. I am so overwhelmed. And it's just this little bit right here is not Halloween. And then a little bit of this back here behind me, just a little bit of this is not Halloween. I had no idea my little Halloween obsession was that crazy. But apparently I've got more than I thought. Um, even under this Easter basket here, that big old box is Halloween. Just vintage uh mask and things in here this i think most of that goes on my uh tree but um it's just a lot so i'm still trying to get the four boxes it's not halloween over to this side and i'm just trying to stack things better and i promise this is not how this building looks all the time it's just I've been going through stuff, so it just looks like a hurricane has come through here. And I found these little guys, too. These are cool. Um, somebody gave me those last year, I think. Um, but anyway, still working on trying to just figure out which boxes are Halloween. Oh my gosh, look in this box. This is some cool stuff. I love this. Now, I got this a uh, year before last, and it is from the 90s. This just looks so 90s. I mean, this uh, tapestry stuff is just like the epitome of like the late 80s and the 90s. I, my mama had all this stuff when I was a kid. Um, I think it says 1991, so that's pretty cool. Uh, I really love the 90s stuff. Um, I've been wanting to redo it. Like, it's been stitched up here across the top, and I want to take that stitch out and raise it up a little bit so that the witch's face is not blocked. Um, but anyway, that's pretty cool. And it's, again, I didn't think this box was Halloween until I pulled the lid up. And then, of course, it's just all kinds of uh, Halloween stuff in here. And... Uh, Again, it's a lot of vintage things. Like, this is stuff like you would have seen hanging in uh, your school room. And I've got a lot of that stuff. Just tons of that stuff that I'll get out. Um, but I'm just getting really excited. But again, I'm overwhelmed. Because I'm, I'm just not what I used to be. Uh, dragging all this stuff out is such a big job. I mean, it takes a lot out of me. But... Um, I thought if I ever had a place, like a house big enough, I would just have one big, huge room where I would just let it be Halloween all the time so I wouldn't even have to pack it up. And the same for like every holiday. Like I'd have a room for every holiday. 
All right, so there's another thing I found that I wanted to just really point out. These little ghosts are made out of like tissue. Uh, and I, you know, I know some little kid, a little boy made these way back in the day with his mom, I think back in the eighties. And, you know, we were, I do estate sales. That's what I do as a job. We go in and do estate sales in houses. So we find all kinds of crazy cool stuff. Um, but these were in a house that we were doing a sale in. And I know they're so silly. They look silly. It's just something that most people would throw away. But, you know, some little boy sat there one Halloween making these with his mom. And I just didn't have the heart to throw those away. So, of course, I kept them. And another thing I found recently is this little Mr. Bones. It had, like, candy, candy bones in it at one time. I found this at one of the sales that we were doing. It's a little coffin. And, uh, you know, I, I save every little thing. I just love uh, little Halloween stuff. And uh, I found this little cupcake pick also. But um, I've finally gotten everything, you know, to this one side. Over here is non-Halloween stuff. But then... I said, oh, we're not going to have too much to bring in. I was telling my mom at the house here. I said, I'm not going to do a lot of decorating. I said, it'll just be a little bit. But meanwhile, this is a little bit. Just a little. You know, just a little. So, we're about to get all this all up to the house. Alright, so for the last part of this video, uh, you can obviously tell that it has gotten dark. And of course, I did not get any of this taken up to the house yet. Uh, that will be in the next part of this video. Um, you know, just whenever I get the house decorated and all this out, I will come back and do the last part of this so that y'all can see uh, everything. And um, if you like Halloween... Uh, I'll probably try to keep doing some Halloween videos, so just like and subscribe to my little channel. I hope to do, uh, you know, a lot more uh, videos. Um, and, oh gosh, there was something I was wanting to say, and I don't even know what it was. But, uh, yeah, if you like Halloween, then you'll definitely want to check out my house uh, once I get it um, decorated. So just, uh, I guess that's all for this one. And so just keep a watch out for the next part.